topic 4.6 state change of matter or latent heat substances can change their state of phase often because of a temperature change At low temperatures most substances are solid as the temperature increases, they become liquid. At further higher temperatures, they become gaseous. Fusion or melting. The process of a solid becoming a liquid is called fusion or melting the opposite process a liquid becoming a solid is called solidification for any pure substance the temperature at which melting occurs which is known as the melting point is a characteristic of that substance it requires energy for a solid to melt into a liquid every pure substance requires a certain amount of energy to change from a solid to liquid this amount is called the latent heat of fusion or enthalpy of fusion. Specific latent heat of fusion. The latent heat of fusion of a substance is proportional to its mass. Therefore, we can write the latent heat of fusion Q is proportional to mass M introducing a proportionality constant L Q equals M L. Therefore, L equals Q over M. SI units of L will be joules per kilogram dimensions of L will be L squared T minus 2. We can define the specific latent heat of fusion as per this relationship. The amount of heat energy required to fuse or change the state of a substance from solid to liquid or vice versa per kilogram of that substance or per unit mass of that substance. Here comes the experiment determination of a specific latent heat of fusion of ice method of mixtures. Vaporization or boiling. At a certain temperature, the particles in a liquid have enough energy to become a gas. The process of a liquid becoming a gas is called boiling or vaporization. While the process of a gas becoming a liquid is called condensation. However, unlike the solid-liquid conversion process, the liquid gas conversion process is noticeably affected by the surrounding pressure on the liquid because, as we know, gases are strongly affected by pressure. This means that the 
temperature at which a liquid becomes a gas that is the boiling point can change with surrounding pressure therefore we define the normal boiling point as the temperature at which a liquid changes to a gas when the surrounding pressure is exactly one atmosphere unless otherwise specified it is assumed that a given boiling point is for one atmosphere of pressure like the solid liquid phase change the liquid gas phase change involves energy the amount of energy required to convert a liquid to a gas is called the latent heat of vaporization or envelope of vaporization specific latent heat of vaporization same as in latent heat of fusion latent heat of vaporization also directly proportional to the mass of the substance therefore we can write the same relationships as these as per this relationship we can define the specific latent heat of vaporization as the amount of heat energy required to convert a unit mass of liquid into gas or vice versa that is convert a unit mass of gas into liquid if we look at the values of specific latent heat of vaporization and specific latent heats of fusion of substances we can see that always specific latent heat of vaporization values are greater than a specific latent heat of fusion values here comes the experiment determination of a specific latent heat of vaporization of water method of mixtures effect of pressure on boiling point and melting point increasing pressure usually increases the boiling point of a liquid for melting point increasing the pressure makes small difference most of the times it is not significant if the liquid is less dense than the solid phase the higher the pressure increases the melting point that is the end of topic 4.6 state change of substances of latent